Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Python tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Python program to find duplicate photos. So as someone who takes a lot of photos, I'm constantly saving the same image multiple times by mistake. And each time when I save my photo, I tend to name the photo differently. And unfortunately, finding duplicate photos, it's not as easy as finding duplicate file names. So by using Python, we can actually write a program to return photo names that are identified as duplicates. Before we dive into the tutorial, you will need to install the PAL library, which is used for image manipulation and processing. All right, now let's get started. Here in my image folder, so I have a couple of photos I'm going to use for a demonstration. And let's see, so if I just highlight all my photos, I have eight photos. If I just quickly glance the photos, uh, so the first image and this image are duplicates. And this two images are duplicates as well, except that uh, all these images have different names. So ultimately, if my program is working successfully, we should see these five file names uh, should return by running our Python program. So let's go into our Python editor. And I'm going to first import my OS module. From the payload library, I'm going to import the image module and the image uh, stat module. Let me pull over the documentation for image stat module. So this module is used to calculate global statistics for an image. So that means uh, using this module, you can retrieve image pixel uh, counts, sum, sum to, uh, means and median and so on. So these are different statistic uh, items that basically you can use based on what type of information that you want to access. I'll be using the mean value to figure out if two images are the same. Here I'm going to create a, a variable to store our uh, image directory. So here my image is saved within the image folder. So I'll grab the folder path and I'm going to just store that within uh, my image folder variable. And next, I need my list of files. So just the image files. So what we can do is we can insert a list comprehension to basically uh, return all the image file names uh, in a list. And here for underscore in OS dot list dir. So this method will return all the file names uh, giving a folder path. And I'm going to pass my folder path. And I'm going to say that uh, if the file names ends with uh, JPG, which is JPEG, I want to add that file name to my list. Now let me just uh, let me just run it just in case if I make any typo. Right now that gives a list object with all the uh, image file names. All right now let's continue. So here I'm going to create another uh, list object. And this list object is going to store all the uh, duplicate file names. Now I'm going to write a loop. So I'm going to say that for file. So this is going to be the original file that I'm going to use to compare against other files. So for original file in image files. And I'm going to do a check. So if this file is not in duplicate files, then I want to do a comparison. So here I'm going to uh, open the image using the uh, image module. And I'll pass the, oops. And I'll pass the file path. So os.path.join. And I want to grab the, the pixel uh, mean value. So I'm going to say, so I'm going to uh, pass the the mean value to a variable called pix1 pix uh, mean1 so px main oops underscore main value 1 so from the image stats uh, module and we can use the stats uh, class and we'll pass the image uh, object and dot mean so this will returns the the pixel mean value 
Now I'm going to write another loop. So this is going to be the file that we're going to use to check against the original file. And here I forgot to insert another uh, close parenthesis. So here I'm going to say that for file check in image files. And again, I'm going to open this image using the image module. So, so I'll call this object image check and image that open. And it's going to be image check followed by the file name. So image uh, file check. And it's going to be the mean value for the check image. So this will be image check dot mean. So we can safely assume that if the pixel mean value from the original file is the same as the uh, the pixel mean value from the, the file that we're checking against, then we can safely assume that those two images are the same. So here we can say that if pixel mean one is equals to pix uh, mean two, we can add the file names to the duplicate files uh, list. So here I'll say duplicate files append and we'll append the file name. So this will be file original and this will be uh, file check. And the last step is to print the uh, duplicate files uh, object. Now if I run the program, I should expect five files, uh, file names. So here I have a typo. Oh, so if not, so if not, oops, not, and if original file names, it's not in duplicate files, and I think that should be the correct syntax. Now let me try again. If I run this program, I should expect uh, five file names. And here's not the, uh, oh, I forgot my, I forgot my close parentheses. And here's another one, image check. Oh, and this should be uh, image folder. All right, now that should be it. Uh, so, he and here I'm getting uh, a lot more files than I expect. Let me see. For file. Okay, so I see the uh, I see the issue here. Here I forgot to insert another if condition. So here I need to uh, say that. If file check, this is the file name that we're checking against. It's not equals to the, uh, the original file name. And we can run the remaining uh, statements. Now if I run the program, yeah. oops, I forgot the colon. And if I run the program, I should expect five files. And here are my five file names are identified as uh, duplicate images. Now if I go back to my image folder, so here let's just uh, quickly validate the file. So the first file is, let me make that a little bit small. So the first file is uh, 465B9C uh, and 7A31. So that's this file right here. And if we look at the second file name, which is this file right here, and which is uh, this uh, file with pretty long file name. And we can see that these two files are indeed uh, duplicate images. Now let's go to the next file name. So 4925, and which is this file right here, which is, uh, which is this file right here. And we should expect this file name, which is uh, this one, which is this one right here, and the dupe.jpg. And which is right here. So this is everything I have to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.